welcome back okay in this session we'll be discussing about uh palindrome of a number okay so in the previous uh session we have di discussed about the reverse of a number so if the number is 127 okay if you reserve reverse the number it becomes you know 7 to 1 okay if i want to reverse this number 1 to 1 okay right so the reverse number will be also 1 to 1 right so whenever you whenever you have a number and if you reverse the number and if the number become the same then we call it as a palindrome okay right palindrome right palindrome of a number okay so that means if in order to find whether a number is palindrome of number we need to reverse the number okay right we need to reverse the number right and then if this reverse number if this reverse number if this reverse number okay uh, if this reverse number is equal to to the number number that means what it is palindrome right okay palindrome right so let us see here okay let me con this to palindrome okay so now once we reverse this okay we're getting this okay so let us convert this number to one to one okay so reverse number will be also one to one so only i need to change here it will be okay seven so this will all be equal to one one okay so this will be equal to one so this will be 12 okay this will be one and this will be also one okay so now num mode of 10 okay so one we got this then we are reversing the number as in the last session we are discussing okay so this is one okay this is one so we get one okay then one multiplied by 10 plus you know two we got two so we get this okay so it is same as you know that how to reverse the numbers first we reverse the number then we have to see with the number itself now interesting phenomena you see out here when you are dividing this particular number, the number at last will become zero. So now if you are comparing this, okay, REV with now, okay, then you are comparing nothing but zero with one to one, right? So what we need to do is that once we have this particular num, okay, somewhere at the beginning, somewhere at the beginning, so okay, I said OG, ORG, original num, okay, I, I store this, okay right i stole this right original i i put one other you know variable and stored the uh, uh, you know that uh, number into that okay now i can compare this sorry uh, okay i can compare this this with rev right with rev so if rev and this are same that means this number is nothing but palindrome okay so let's come back to the program itself right so we have reversed the number okay we got the reverse number here yes right okay now we need only to check whether this reverse number is equal to number or not okay so what i need to do i need to create another org okay org or it can be org and you am okay original number and what i do is that O R G N U M equal to num. Okay. Right. And here I just simply I will check. I have to check. So if O R G N U M okay equal to R E V, right? Then we write printf the number is. number is palindrome okay right else else okay else control z else the number is not palindrome that's all 
okay right so we need to reverse the number okay please uh, see my video uh, regarding reverse of the number okay so we need to reverse the number once the number is reversed okay and we as we know once we do this particular because the number will become zero so i am storing this particular number another variable i say the original number now i'm checking whether the original number is equal to the reverse number if it is same then we say the number is palindrome otherwise it is not palindrome so let me save it okay then again you know execute so one two seven oh the number is palindrome okay so where the mistake is okay where the mistake is the logic doesn't see any mistake oh see here i've put an assignment operator it should be double equal so this type of pt things you know makes uh you know mistake itself so let me now execute so one two seven it will give you it is not palindrome great so let me check one palindrome number one to one it is palindrome okay let me again check another number one two three two one okay it is palindrome so right so it's very simple so that's why i stated the first uh uh, when, when you were discussing about finding the digit of the number, I'm saying that you know each of this, uh, the concept of digit of the number is very important because subsequently all these particular programs it will be easy for you to understand, right? From the digit of the number, we have got the digit of the number. Then we have seen how to get the sum of the digit. Okay, then we see the reverse, reverse, reverse. The you know the digit itself. Okay reverse the number itself and once we reverse the number just we need to check whether the reverse number is equal to the original number then we find out whether the number is palindrome or not okay so thank you